Hello and welcome everybody to the end of the millennium Ping i3 blade announced in 1999. Yeah, we're going to squeeze it into my, it qualifies for the discussion about vintage golf. Now, the Ping i3 I series is very interesting. It's coming on the heels of the Ping Zing, Ping Zing 2, the ISI, and then we get this. Instead of just a massive stainless steel club head, Ping's looking at people and they're thinking, well, there are thick people. There are people that like thick people. There are thin people and petite people. There are people that like these thin, petite people. And people wear makeup for film, for broadcast, just every day to look good, to cover up all their little blemishes. And they took all of this social knowledge and they said, we're gonna apply this to golf. And they took their golf clubs and they said, we're gonna make an oversized version. So there's the Ping i3 oversized. And then they were gonna make the Ping i3 blade, which is slightly small. And the oversized is just like a full size three ton truck on the end of a stick. And then we're gonna, we're gonna disguise the sound. Remember when I was talking about makeup? <laughs> people complain about stainless steel, right? This is a stainless steel club. Well, when I hit stainless steel clubs, they have that harsh clack, and I don't like that sound. But if you put a damper on it, this is, so the i3 right here, this logo, is a weight and damper. I actually had this one fall out on me. Uh, I weighted, it was like 14 grams or something, I don't remember exactly. Right around the 14 gram mark, and it dampens the sound. And so they put, and so what they've done is they, they have a smaller club head here, with makeup on, surely everybody will like this. And don't call me Shirley. This club sounds different than other Ping clubs before it, which I really like. Ping has done an amazing job here. And you're gonna see other developments in the future where they decide, oh wait, this falls out too easily, so we're gonna tuck it into a slot, so when you're swinging it, it just pushes the weight further in. Anyway, we're gonna talk about those maybe in a future video. So, really an interesting Ping i3 bladed club. I'm super excited to test this, see how it feels, see how the makeup sounds, see how the makeup sounds. We should just have a look at the club. Cavity back, you can see i3 clearly marked on the weight and the uh, damper right here. Then we have a cavity back ping blade. This is actually molded into the club itself. This happens to be the blue dot. The dot representing Y is right here on the heel portion of the cavity. And we have the cutaway right here for any sort of lie adjustments, loft adjustments. Nice angle right there, so we can adjust that as needed. Only the number on the sole right here. Clean toe. And the ping white line here for alignment on the grooves. And you can see it's marked six iron right here next to the grooves as well. So a pretty clean head serial number here on the heel side of the hosel angled hosel no ferrules here pretty interesting combination right here so this is the original part i'm not sure about anything else here we have a stepped shaft with no markings i think the original ones that came with it were jay-z for the jay-z for the stiff flex this has an aftermarket golf pride grip on it so that's what i'll be hitting it feels fine you can see obviously been re-gripped so, Ping i3 blade, it's a really clean looking, very engineer style club. I'm excited to get out there and hit this.
Back in the mid 2000s, I worked at a golf course and my friends and employees would talk to death about this club. The Ping I3 blade is the best thing ever. We love it so much. And that's what this channel is about, right? It's not, oh, well, you do this with your swing and this is how you improve your score, okay? Throw that out the window, okay? We're talking about emotional connection with clubs. Do you love this club? Leave a comment if you do. And people would, and they'd tell me stories, like this is a six iron. Oh, my six iron lost the weight, and I had to send it back into Ping to get the D0 swing weight, and they put it back in, and I got it back, and oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got it back. I love this club. And then what happened is they didn't want to get rid of them. They're like, oh, I love these clubs because I've sent three of these in to have them reweighted, and I watch them, and I clean them, and I take such good care of them, and they're like your children, right? Children are super annoying 95% of the time. They're breaking dishes, and they're throwing things off the balcony, and you're like, Stop it! You know, but if somebody tried to take them away from you, get out of here. No, get out of here. I'm not giving away my children, and that's what these are. These have become children to these people. And they have character and a soul. It's funny how, how little flaws like that, like children, flaws, are endearing, right? So you look at something like the TaylorMade Tor Preferred, okay? Which one of these do you think people are more connected with? A lot of people, not everybody, you leave a comment if you're different, but a lot of people like the Ping i3 blades more. They just, they connect with them somehow. They're both wonderful irons. I can hit this great, I would love, I could play a set of these. Yeah, they're a little clacky stainless steel. These are stainless steel as well. They, you know, they have a damper on there, did I say whale? It's a whale of a time. So for me, I love. this is what we're looking for on this channel, character and emotional connection. So absolutely, I love this club. I would so game. I said it would be in my permanent, like just keep to the end of my life, all time favorite set. This is on that list. As long as Ping continues to replace these, these weights. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited to read your comments. Ping i3 blade, wonderful club. It felt amazing to hit. Nothing to complain about this club. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe. You can visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. If you purchase something like golf balls through that link, then you help support this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I am The Vintage Golfer.